Around 70,000 people took part in the Beirut Marathon events. These included two full 42-kilometer races, one for runners and one for para-athletes. And there was a 21-kilometer half marathon open to everyone. One of the participants from Ukraine was Ruslan Chernitsky. This is not my first half marathon. This is the sixth or seventh. I don't remember. The mood is wonderful. There is such an atmosphere here. I would say a marathon atmosphere. There are a lot of participants and this is cool, very cool. In addition, two shorter races were open to runners and para-athletes. Yuri Pisarchuk, despite his leg injury, took part in the competitive 8-kilometer race. We fight, fight, and fight once again. It was not for nothing that I declared my intention to take part in the pro category this time. Of course, I'll be at the tail end there, most likely. I'll drag behind, but nevertheless, this time I decided to raise myself to a higher level. In the 8K for para-athletes, Vadim Sviridenko ran using sprint prosthetics. You know, it was interesting to run. At first, nobody paid attention. Then they watched out of the corner of their eyes. Then they ran up and asked, where are you from? Who are you? What is your injury? When I replied that I was a Ukrainian soldier and I was at war with Russia, everyone was generally interested in this. There was a non-competitive fun run and family events where children could also take part. In order to remind the world about Ukraine, Kosyantin Vudninchenko crossed the finish line waving a blue and yellow flag. Everyone has a personal goal, to prove to himself that he can, that he is alive, and run for those guys who have not returned from the war. But when I had the honor to run in this marathon, in the largest scale race, I realized that my t-shirt with the words Ukrainian Army is very important to show that we are here too. The ambassador of Ukraine to the Lebanese Republic also came carrying a flag. We constantly collect funds for various projects, including for the treatment and rehabilitation of our soldiers. Recently, there was a wonderful exhibition called Winners. We invited three Donbass war veterans, and now four veterans arrived at our invitation. Thanks to the Ukrainian community, we have a very powerful team here. In the future, Ukrainians intend to make the Beirut Marathon a full-fledged part of the sport rehabilitation program for wounded Ukrainian servicemen on the same level as the Invictus Games, the U.S. Marine Corps Marathon, and other large-scale competitions.